What's up, Bo Doers, and welcome back. Here at Stealthy Wood, we're looking to hire a social media coordinator for our marketing department. Now, to hire a new employee, we need to have a published job position so applicants can apply. That's step one. So follow along today as I create a new job position in the recruitment app. Here we are on our main recruitment app dashboard. This is where all of our job positions are housed and managed, both published and unpublished. Now to begin the recruitment process for our new social media coordinator position, we're going to click new here in the upper left hand corner. And when we do this create a job position pop up window appears, we're going to start by entering a name for this job position, which is social media coordinator. Next, I'll create an application email. Applicants can email their resume to this email address. And Odoo will create an applicant record for this position, which is extremely convenient. So we're going to keep it simple and enter social and then click create. Once I create the position, I'm taken to the job position Kanban page. Since we don't have any applicants, this page is empty. But I need to add a lot more information to this position. So we're going to go back to our dashboard via the breadcrumbs here at the upper left hand corner. Now I just need to scroll and find our new position, and there it is. Now it's time to add more details to this, so we're gonna click the three dots here in the upper right hand corner of the card, and then click on configuration. Here I can enter all the details for this job. First, we're gonna select a department, which is our marketing department, and it's gonna be housed within our sales and marketing slash marketing option. Next, we have the job location. This is pre-populated with our company's address, so nothing to change here. In the industry section, this is related to the job board posting where these different categories are reflected on popular sites such as Monster. So in this case, I'm going to select manufacturing since we build furniture. Next, the email alias is already pre-populated from before. And for employment type, we're going to choose full time, which I can choose from these default options here. And for the working schedule directly below, we're going to select the standard 40 hours a week. Now we have our salary range for any town, New York, the average is around 50 to 55,000 for a year. So we're going to change that salary range now. And we're going to start by changing this drop down to yearly instead of per month. And then I'll enter 50,000. and then 55,000. Next, we can add some expected skills. I'll click into this field here and click on search more from the dropdown. Then we're gonna open up our marketing section. And here we're gonna select analytics, communication, and digital advertising, then clicking select. Now I wanna add a skill that wasn't already on that list and to do so we're gonna click back into that drop down menu and then click on search more. However, this time we're gonna click on new and enter social media. And in the skill type section, we're gonna choose marketing. Then click save and close. Keep in mind that I need to select pre-existing skills and add new skills separately. I can't do them at the same time. Next we have our mission dates. So mission dates is when the job is going to be available. I'm going to leave this blank because that means this job position is available immediately. If this won't start until a certain date. For example, a summer internship. I might enter a start date like July 1st in this field. Moving back up, we have our target field. This is where I select how many employees I want to hire for this role. For this example, we're just going to leave this as one. Now the website field is where I can select which website this job will be published on. In this case, it's going to be our main Stealthywood website. The recruiter field is the main person responsible for this job position who will be added to all the interviews for all applicants. In this case, we're going to leave it as Mitchell Admin. What can he do? Am I right? Now we have our interviewers field. This is where I can add other employees who I want to help select applicants. They can see all applicants for this job position, see all resumes and documents, come to meetings and even refuse applicants. Maggie Davidson, she's our marketing manager, so I'm gonna add her since she's gonna be working directly with the employee that we're hiring for this role. 
She doesn't have recruitment access rights, but by selecting her here, she can have access to everything for this particular job position. For the interview form, this is where I can select the test or questionnaire created in the surveys app, which applicants need to fill out. Their answers can help select ideal candidates based on experience, knowledge, availability, and anything else I want to ask. So I'm going to select our basic recruitment form for this field, which asks about candidates' availability, expectations, which we can all use for our applicants. And last, we have our contract template. This is where we select the employee contract that will be signed upon hiring. To use this, you must have both the documents and sign apps installed in your database. So here in this field, I'm going to select our standard Stealthy Wood employee contract. That's it for the recruitment tab, but we still have other tabs to fill out. So we're going to move on to our job summary tab. And this is where I can put in a description that will be visible to applicants on our job offers page of our website. It's not what appears on the individual job position page, but we'll get to that later. Thankfully, I already have some copy to paste in here. And perfect, looks good. Okay, now I'm going to show you all about the job boards tab in a different tutorial. So for this tutorial, we're just going to skip past this and hop into our application info tab. Here's where we outline for the applicants what they can expect regarding the interview process. The default information here is the same for all other jobs. So after they apply, we have two days to respond in our time to answer field. And if we want to move them along the recruitment process, they'll have one phone call with us, followed by one on-site interview. Then after their interview, if we think they're a good fit, we'll send them an offer within four days. All right. The very last thing we need to do is publish this using the website app that we have installed. If we scroll up, I can tell this job is not yet published yet because the globe in the go to website smart button at the top is red and this toggle here says not published. So we're just going to click this toggle here. It'll turn green and the globe in the go to website smart button is now green as well. Okay, so let's go take a look at that by clicking into this smart button. And here's our new job position. Now this information is the default for all jobs. If we want to customize it a little bit more, all we have to do is click this edit button here at our upper right hand corner. Now I can change anything I want on this page, but for more instructions on that, check out our tutorials on our website app. And last, let's look at that description that we wrote before. All we have to do is click back into the all jobs section here. We'll scroll to find our social media coordinator position. And there it is. And that's all for today's tutorial. We learned how to create a new job position, including how to configure all the job details, add people to interviews, and publish the listing on our website. Tune into our other recruitment tutorials. We'll be looking into sharing jobs, adding applicants, and going through the rest of the recruitment process. Till next time, happy recruiting, and see you in the next video.